Hi, good morning. I have a special treat. We have Beth here. Yay. Beth, how old's your baby? 14 weeks. 14 weeks <laughs> and life's okay? Yep. The snoo is a testimonial that Love it's the, the best snoo. thing. <laughs> Yeah, no snoo at our house. Um, so um, grab a open-ended resistance band if you have one. Um, if you don't have one, it's not required, but it certainly does make it fun. If you need an open-ended resistance band and you live in Tampa, reach out to me. I have a whole bunch. I delivered some yesterday. So, all right, so let's stand on our mat. Um, feet underneath us, hip distance, all right? Let's take our arms up overhead. All right, we take an inhale, exhale, we dive down towards that mat. You're pulling the belly up and in, probably noticing our hamstrings are a little tight, right? So from here, I want you to bend the right leg, straighten the right leg, bend the left leg, straighten the left leg. Let's keep alternating here. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's pull that belly up and in and then roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Those arms come up overhead. Big breath, we dive down towards that mat. All right, so hang here for a second. As we do this, I want you to really think about pulling the abs towards the spine, right? And then we're gonna rock from heel to toe. When we lift those toes, we're lengthening the back of the legs. You may feel this in your calves or your hamstrings here. For five, four, three, two, one. We come through center, we roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time, those arms come up overhead. All right, so we're gonna take those legs nice and wide in second position, like a big sumo stance. So as wide as you possibly can, wide, 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 wide. We take our arms up overhead. We roll down towards that mat. Now, we're gonna go for um, hamstring or uh, inner thigh and uh, hamstring stretch here. So if you need to uh, go wider, go ahead and do that. Yes, there you go. Now make sure you're tracking so your foot is over your ankle. So if you're rolling in, try to take that pinky toe weight there. Let's hold it here for three, two, one. We're gonna come through center, go to the other side. Beautiful, hold it here, it's three, two, one. We come through center, we go to the other side. If you wanna use your shoulder to press back into that knee, that helps too. Hold it here, it's three, two, one. We come back through center and then go to the other side. Big stretch here. Make sure you're breathing. Let's hold for three, two, one. We're gonna go to the other side. This time I want you to really lift the heel um, or lift the toes on the other foot. So you're getting into like an inner thigh hamstring stretch here. Hold it here, it's three, two, one. We come back through center, we go to the other side. Make sure all of the weight is in that heel on the lengthening leg. Let's hold it here, it's three, two, when we come through center, we put our feet a little bit closer together. All right, we roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Arms come up overhead. All right, so let's go ahead, sit on the mat facing the street, okay? And put the TheraBand around your feet. Um, we're gonna do some roll downs using the, um, the resistance band. So legs are nice and straight. Um, a light resistance is more um, abdominal, uh, harder on the abdominals, and a tighter resistance is a little bit nicer um, for the abdominals if you need support. So sitting up nice and tall, all right? We're gonna take an inhale, exhale, slowly roll down towards the mat. If you need to walk down the back of the knees, that's fine too. Woo, yep, 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 you're good. All right, so go ahead, lengthen, head, neck, and shoulders come down. We're gonna take an inhale, exhale, chin to chest. We roll up one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful, spine stretch forward. Maybe grab your toes here. So this resistance band is really just helping the abdominals if you need it, okay? We take an inhale, exhale, we sit up nice and tall. We roll down one vertebrae at a time. Again, if you need to take a bend in the knees, that's fine too. Head, neck, and shoulders. Come down, we take an inhale, exhale, chin to chest, we roll up one vertebrae at a time. Spine stretch forward, big stretch. Now Beth, who's in the front, is also a Pilates instructor, but she is just getting back into working out, so she's gonna have some modified variations for you. I will walk you through it. Last time here, we take an inhale, exhale, we roll down towards that mat. Yep, nice work. Take an inhale, exhale, chin to chest, we roll up to seated one vertebrae at a time. Spine stretch forward, very nice. 
All right, this next time we're just gonna come down to the shoulder blades. Of course, if you need to come down flat for these exercises, that's fine too. Go ahead, we take an inhale, exhale, we roll down towards the mat. All right, the head, neck, and shoulders can be lifted. I want you to float those legs up into tabletop. All right, hold on to the, uh, the resistance bands. All right, again, if the head, neck, and shoulders need to come down, that's fine. With flex feet, you're gonna bend and extend the knees in and out. Exhale as you drag it in. So inhale out, exhale in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, I told him about that, and one, hold it out there, I want you to open and close the legs, eight, seven, six, five, keep breathing, four, three, two, one, bend the knees in, roll down the head, neck, and shoulders, maybe grab the knees, rock side to side, releasing the lower back, so, if you're just getting back into Pilates and this starts to bother your neck, certainly put it down, but that is a nice support so it's not so intense on the abs, on the lower abs, correct Beth? Yeah. Okay. So let's come to uh, Pilates V, heels together, toes apart. All right. All right. So lift the head, neck, and shoulders. All right. Let's bend and extend. Flex feet. Eight. Squeeze those inner thighs. Seven. You got it. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out there. Open and close the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees in, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. Grab the knees, rock side to side, releasing that lower back. All right, so we're gonna come to wide second position. Maybe not crazy wide, but like a little bit wider, okay? All right, head, neck, and shoulders can come lifted. All right, flex feet. We're gonna inhale and then exhale, extend. Inhale and exhale. Eight, seven, you've got this. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it out there. Instead of opening, close little tiny lift and lower. Pull the abs up and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees in, rock side to side, releasing that lower back. Nice work. We're gonna put uh, the TheraBand on the right foot. All right, I want you to cross it. All right. Now that left leg can be long on the mat or bent. Your head, neck, and shoulders can be up or down, all right? We're gonna go for single leg circles. So straighten that leg, pull the belly up and in, and you're gonna start circling towards me to start. Eight, seven. The other thing that might help here, Beth, if you need to bend that left leg to get a little bit of stability, you tell me. Six, is that better? You tell, work with, with okay. Five, yeah, it does in a way, right? It's like lubricating the hip. Yeah. Four, three, two, that's right, it's like you gotta figure out what works. Yeah. And one, we're gonna do the other direction. You're gonna inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift that leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, beautiful. Hold it here at the top. I want you to lengthen that right leg, dig through the heel for a hamstring stretch. Ah. Maybe point and flex the foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the um, TheraBand in the uh, right hand for me. And then take the uh, TheraBand across, or take your leg across your body for an IT band stretch. You can look over the other direction. If you don't feel this, you could always point that toe down towards the ground a little bit. Keep breathing here, it's three, it's two, and it's one. Let's take that leg wide and out to the side, or take the left knee out the opposite direction. This is your inner thigh stretch. 
Mindy's thinking, oh, she's being so nice today. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. All right, let's go ahead and do everything on the other side. So the TheraBand does sometimes seem to roll and you just have to really readjust it and flatten it under that foot, otherwise you like cut off the circulation. Yeah. Okay? So different legs and different sides may feel different, okay? So right leg is straight, left leg is straight, or the right leg could be bent. So we start with circles towards the house. So inhale, then exhale and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go ahead and reverse. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice, hamstring stretch here. Dig through that heel, let's point and flex the foot for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Um, the TheraBand's going to come to your left hand. You're going to come across the body. Make sure you're breathing for me. Three, two, one. Let's take it out wide to the side. Take the other knee out the opposite direction for me. Beautiful. Hold it here. It's three. It's two, and it's one. Very nice. All right, so go ahead. I want you to put the resistance band in your hands for me. So you probably want a pretty um, a good resistance on here. We're going to do the ab series of five. So your head, neck, and shoulders can be down the whole time, or you can have them lifted. So for this first one, their bands overhead, all right? And then you can lift the head, neck, and shoulders if you want, all right? Right leg comes into the chest, left leg is long. All right, I want you to pull apart the arms and switch the legs. Here we go, it's eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, last one, last one. Lower the head, neck, and shoulders, take a breath. Beautiful, take an inhale, exhale, come up into a tiny little ball. Hand position is the same. You're gonna take an inhale, then exhale, everything goes out. So inhale out and then exhale in, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Beth looks good, three, you feel this though, right? Two, one, very nice. Bend the knees in, rock side to side, lower the head, neck, and shoulders, okay? Arm position stays the same. We're gonna go for single straight leg here. So, right leg is up to the sky, left leg is straight towards the mat. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders if you want. It's a pulse, pulse on the, on the TheraBand and switch. Pulse, pulse, and switch. Pulse, pulse, and switch. Beautiful. Eight, eight, seven, seven, Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two. Last one. Last one. Beautiful. Lower down. Rock those knees side to side, releasing that lower back. So we have um, a double leg lift and lower here in Pilates V. So a couple of options because if your abdominals are tough right now, you could lose the resistance band, make a little pie shape underneath your uh, lower back. Um, you could lose the resistance band in total and support your head, neck, and shoulders with your hands. All right, you do what works for you. Mindy, the harder variation is to have the head, neck, and shoulders lifted and use the resistance band. So Pilates V for me. Inner thighs are squeezing. You're gonna take an inhale, then exhale and lower. So inhale, exhale, lower. So if you need to come to a slight bend of the knees or re uh, the range of motion is different for everybody here, the minute you feel your back pop up, that's where we stop here. It's eight. Exhale as you lift. Six. Ooh, Mindy's got a great variation going there. She's, you know, she's my extra credit person. Four. Three. 
two. One, beautiful. Bend the knees in, rock side to side, release in that lower back. Stop. All right, so school hasn't started yet, so I have my, uh, my Cooper Matthew behind the camera he watching. He, he he's, can't sit, it's just he's having a tough. Yeah, he likes to see what's happening. All right, so let's go hands wide behind the head, and we're gonna get rid of the resistance band for everybody. We're gonna float those legs up into tabletop and go for crisscross. You're gonna start towards the camera. Here we go. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. It's eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, last one, last one. Grab your knees, rock side to side, releasing that lower back. Stop moving, dude. Here's the little juice, okay? So, why don't you go ahead, come closer to the street. We're gonna go for rolling like a ball. Shoot, because that would be nice now. Now, if your abs are not super strong, you may have a hard time with this. I want you to lift those feet, come up into a tiny little ball. Tuck the head, neck, and shoulders. We take an inhale, lower. Exhale, use the abdominals, come right back up. Inhale, exhale, roll. You got it. We got four more. It's four, three, two, one. Very nice. Come up, see if you can balance. Hold it here. It's three. Use those abs. Two. One, very nice, put those feet down. We're gonna come laying on our belly, face down, towards the house. I know, it's just too hot. It did, your hair did look pretty, Mindy, I appreciate that. All right, so we're doing the opposite of all that stuff we just did. We're gonna put our hands directly by our shoulders. Glutes are squeezing like the devil. All right, we're gonna take an inhale. Exhale, lift up, squeeze the glutes for support. Ah, that feels nice, right? We take an inhale, exhale, we lower right back down. We take an inhale, exhale, we lift it up. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. Two more here. Inhale, exhale, lift it up. We take an inhale, exhale, we lower it down. Last one here. Take an inhale, exhale, lift it up. Maybe lift the chin to stretch out even more. Make sure you're breathing here for three, two, one, and lower it back down. All right, so. Uh, I want you to hover those arms off the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Now start fluttering the legs for me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, press back, child's pose. Stretch that all out. How's the belly work, Beth? It feels good. Okay. Okay, okay good. All right, so let's come right back to that same position for me. All right, all right, so flutter those arms up, squeeze the shoulder blades, legs are squeezing behind, but don't move. I want you to inhale and then extend the arms, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms extend long, hold it there. We flutter the arms, flutter the legs, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press back, child's pose. Very nice. All right, so stretch that out, and then I want you to grab the resistance band. We're gonna do thigh stretch and then chest expansion. So um, you can come kneeling towards me. Resistance band is in front of you to start. All right, arms are straight out in front of us. Now we all know this is my least favorite thing because my quads are so tight, okay? As we do this, it's really important you're squeezing the glutes and you're in the hinge position, okay? So we take an inhale, light resistance in that TheraBand, not a ton. Take an inhale, exhale, hinge back, stretching out those quads. Take an inhale, exhale, come right back up. Inhale, exhale, lean back, hinge. You should feel an intense stretch in the quads. Take an inhale, exhale, come right back. Inhale, exhale, lower back. We take an inhale, exhale, we come right back. Inhale, exhale, we lower back. Take an inhale, exhale, we come right back. Last one here, inhale, exhale, lower back. Hold it there for three, two, one. Come right back up to standing. Let's come standing. We're gonna do chest expansion and a little bit of a lunge series. If you are a nursing mom or you have bad posture, we're all like this. 
really trying to change the posture. Think about that shoulder head going back. Let's face the street to start, all right? So let's just start with the, right, uh, the feet together in Pilates V, inner thighs are squeezing. We'll start with the resistance band um, in front to start, okay? So head, neck, and shoulders are really engaged. You're gonna take an inhale, exhale, squeeze the glutes, and then you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together and press the arms out to the side. And then come right back. So inhale, and then exhale. So just warming up the shoulder girdle here for eight, seven, think about those shoulder head squeezing, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out there, squeeze the shoulder blades, little pulses out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, very nice. Resistance band goes behind. Okay, so, yep, get in a good position here. You want the palms facing right behind you, okay? Pilates feet, inner thighs are squeezing. We can't get, a, that, there's a reason why I have to wear these things. They can't hear that as much, okay? So, Pilates V, inner thighs squeezing, neck is in line with you, your shoulder blades are already engaged before you hop in. You're gonna just light tension in the back of the arms and then press towards the other end of the room. Yep. Inhale and then exhale, squeezing here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out there, a little open and close. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower back down. Woo, a lot of work. Roll those shoulders. Maybe take their ear to the right shoulder. And then come back through center and go to the left. I don't want this getting into your traps. We have one more set of chest expansion here, okay? So for this time, inner thighs are squeezing like the devil. The arms are in that same position. I want you to have a, a tight resistance on that TheraBand to start, okay? Now, little tiny lift and lower with the resistance band nice and tight. Eight, seven, we're isolating here. Six, five, four, three, two, one, very nice. Resistance band is gonna go um, underneath that right foot. You're gonna cross it for me. You're gonna take the left leg behind so you're in a lunge position already, all right? So get into a good position, all right? Hold on to that resistance band, okay? I want you to hold nice and tight. I want you to bend that back knee and then the arms go out to the side. Eight, yes, that's it. Seven, six, Five, four, if you need to take a slight bend in the elbow, that's fine too. Three, two, one, hold it here, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, stand up, shake that out. Let's switch legs. Shoulder girdle's getting a workout. The TheraBand is, it seems like it's super easy, it's not, all right? So get a good setup. You may have a different feel on each side, all right? So go ahead, you're gonna bend the back leg and then arms come out to a T or whatever version that is. Slight bend in the elbows if you need. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold that leg, little pulses with the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, shake that out. We're gonna come into side lying leg. The resistance band is gonna be on that top leg. You could be on your forearm, or I know, you're dripping. She's, she's sweaty too, don't you worry. She, she'll so. I think she's just, you know what? I think she's just excited to be out of the yes. house. Yes, exactly. Okay, so, so much adrenaline. So much adrenaline. Okay, so we're gonna put the resistance band on the top leg. Um, for this one, um, Beth, it's really important that you anchor the elbow into the top hip. So you can bend that bottom knee if you need to do so. You can come into a banana peel, all right, and support the neck. We're gonna have a flexed foot here, and we're just gonna lift and lower here. Eight, seven, come over here, it's not so hot. Six, five, 
four, three, maybe so. Two, I don't think Beth's drinking as much as we are. Two, one, as you, one, as you yes. All right, so keep that leg hip height. We're gonna go for pendulum. So swing it forward, dig through the heel, bring it back. Now, if your hips are really tight, you're not going very far. Mindy's very flexible. I don't know how this happened, but she's so flexible. It makes me jealous. For three more, it's two more. And last one. Very nice, you're gonna sweep it forward just a little bit, not a lot, point the toe. Not that much, Mindy. Small circles towards me to start. Eight, seven, this is a lot of glute work, but it's kind of nice and supportive. Six, five, four, three, two, one, reverse it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, we're gonna go into a bent knee position with the top leg. So, with a resistance band, you're gonna come into like an external rotation, all right? You're gonna dig towards the mat, dig through the heel, extend it up. Knee in, extend it out towards the crown molding. Eight, squeeze that glute as you extend it. Seven, six, five, burning, right? Yeah, this is good. Four. <laughs> Three, stop Koopy, two, one, very nice. Leg is straight, come back to that hip height position. Sweep it forward towards me. Toe down, heel up, little lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, lay on your back, let's stretch that out. No, we got there though, I promise. All right, so. Go ahead, uh, you can take a hamstring stretch to start because that probably would feel nice. All right. And then you can get rid of the resistance band and come into a figure four stretch with that working leg. Now, if you have very good flexibility here, you can go ahead and grab behind the back of the left knee or straighten it. Make sure you're breathing here. Three, two, one. We're gonna take a pretzel here. So pretzel here, yep. If you can't grit your ankles, maybe grab your shins. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, one. Flip that pretzel for me. You're gonna probably notice one side is dramatically grumpier. Beth probably had a lot of equality before the baby, but she's probably keeping the baby on one side and one hip is tight and one hip is loose. For three, two, one. Beautiful, let's flip over and do everything on the other side. Do you notice there's no planks, Mindy? Yay! Yeah. She hates planks. I love them. She hates them. I, I know they're so good. Like, I probably feel more in my shoulder. Yeah. That's like the one thing I try to do. If I can do like one thing yeah. a day. Is, like the, is the, play, the planks. Like, planks? So different sides are going to feel super different here. So maybe you were able to be on the forearm on the first side, and maybe you're not on the second side. All right. So go ahead. Elbow is into that hip. Nice tight grip here. We're gonna go flex foot, lift and lower here. Eight, seven, Cooper, stop. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. What do we do now? Oh, we go. Yeah, we go. No, we go pendulum. Sweep it forward. Dig through the heel back. Sorry, my train of thought got a little crazy there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. We're going to go ahead, point that toe, sweep it forward just a little bit. Small circles here. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Reverse it now. Eight, seven, six, five. You've got it. Four, three, two, one. Here we go into that knee in, flexed heel towards the other end. In, exhale, out. Squeeze that glute. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, 
three, two, one. Very nice, leg is hip distance. We're gonna sweep it forward, toe down, heel up. Little tiny lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice, lay on your back. Take that hamstring stretch for me. Dig through that heel. Beautiful, breathe it here. It's three, two, one. Go ahead, get rid of that TheraBand. Take a figure four for me. Maybe reach behind the back of that knee. Take an inhale, then exhale and deepen the stretch. Hold it here, it's three, two, one. Let's take a pretzel now. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Make sure you're breathing here. It's three, two, one. Flip it for me. Hold it here, it's three, it's two, and it's one. So stay where you're at. I want you to float the legs up into the tabletop. We're gonna do toe taps to finish um, because that's really good for um, a recovering mom. So, from having a baby, not recovering in any other sense of the way. All right, so head, neck, and shoulders can be lifted or you can be down, all right? We're going for toe taps. Right leg taps toward the mat, exhale as you lift, and inhale as you lower. The minute this gets into your lower back, I want you to go ahead and maybe change the shape. It doesn't have to go all the way down to the mat. You can always have your head, neck, and shoulders down. Beautiful, we've got six more each side. Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, last one. Last one, grab your knees, rock side to side, release the lower back. We are gonna attempt double leg lift and lower. Beth, if this is too hard, your head, neck, and shoulders go down or you go into single leg, okay? Last thing here and then we are stretching and getting out of here. So float the legs into tabletop, all right? Toe taps both if you can. Eight, seven. So you can see Beth is still working on her abdominals here and she's not able to get all the way down, but this is a great start here. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Grab the knees, rock side to side, releasing the lower back. Legs are long, arms are long. All right, take three deep breaths here. Three, two, one. We're gonna take an inhale, exhale, chin to chest. We're gonna roll up to seated using those abdominals. One, vertebrae at a time. You got it, Beth, look at that. Spine stretch forward, all right? Holding on to either the ankles or the feet. I want you to put all the resistance into the right shoulder and press the left shoulder back and then switch and switch and switch and switch for seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Sit up, look towards me, and say happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Nice work, guys. Bye. Bye.